This one I have. <clears throat> probably the three ninety nine. Oh, really? Nah, <laughs> come on. I wouldn't say that. that. Um, Don't say that. Police officers do. This is do. all you're sending in this box? Uh, well, I mean, is there a smaller box that we can fit well, this Well, it in? depends on where it's going and how we're sending it. Does it need to be there tomorrow? No. Where is it going? What zip code? Uh, can you tell her the yep, zip code? the zip code is... Give me one second here. Not a problem. Zip code is 14207. And nothing liquid, fragile, perishable, no. hazardous, no lithium no. batteries, perfume, or mercury in it? Negative. Let's find out what your options are. Okay. In this box, you would be buying the box, mm -hmm. all right? And it would go by the size from the fourth to postage alone would cost you $22.50 because what's happening is you're using a very large box to yeah. send something that's not that large. Okay. So you're paying extra because of the size of the box. I see. We have a priority mail shoe box that this may fit in and that knocks you down to $10.90 and the box is free. I think we'll do that option. So it, you do you think that this would fit in that the shoe? I'll get a box and we'll find out. Absolutely, let's do that. How long would, the, would it take to arrive? Um, New York in Buffalo, priority mail is three days. Okay. Okay, so let me see if the box... Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, as you see, guys, very professional here in Providence. Uh, is this the post... United States Post Office. Yeah, Post Office. I know it's the Post Office. I don't know if it was the headquarters or what. But, uh, I mean, you can't forget where you're at in here. <laughs> Benny who's and bees. They also remodeled this entire post office. It wasn't like this. Interesting. So yeah, so we'll have to definitely take a quick walk and show everyone how it looks now. <clears throat> but yeah, this <clears throat> this lady is very professional, helping us out the best way she can. We need more. We need more post masters and post service members like her. <clears throat> Can you let him film and In this, this one looks like it will definitely fit. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. You would have to tape the box up, but even if you had to purchase tape, you're still saving money from what it was going to cost you before. You would fill out right on the box and into it. The box is for you. We'll take it with you and mail it whenever you're ready. Do we have to purchase the tape? You do. Damn, they let me borrow it the other day at, at the at Broad Street. 
It's still yeah. it's still You're cheaper to than buy the tape. Sometimes clerks bring their own tape in where they purchased it themselves. I don't have any. You would have to buy the tape. Okay, but you can take. Do you know how much here. the tape is? I'm sorry. Do you know how much the tape? Um, a roll of tape is four dollars and thirty nine cents. Well, like I said, you can take this with you oh, and tape it up somewhere. If I buy the tape, can you tape it up for us? You have to tape it. Oh, we have okay. to do it. Huh? Yeah, because you have to make sure it's secure. <laughs> Okay, okay, you're right. right. Gotcha. Because if I do it and it falls apart, then I'm responsible for it. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, okay, so yeah, the I'll box, the like you said, is free. I'll buy the tape. All right. So you I'll would fill out from and to one here. The, it would be expected today is Wednesday on Saturday, and the postage would be 1172 Now, that's with insurance up to $50. Is that enough insurance coverage, or do you need more insurance on it? More. What is the value of what you're sending? hundred and fifty dollars okay. so if we were to insure it for the full value it would add three dollars and fifty five cents more bringing this package to fifteen twenty seven which like I said is still cheaper than um, if we went the other way which is the total again fifteen twenty seven okay that's with the full insurance up to hundred and fifty dollars all right, I'll do it. Okay, so you need to go over to the counter first and fill out who it's from and who it's going to. All right, all right, and, I'll if, be right you, back. and if you are going to do the tape, it is hanging right on the wall. You can just bring the roll over there. All right, thank all you right. very much, Donnie. You're very you professional. This one back? Yep, I will. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Because even with this, you'd have to buy the box, even though it has tape on it, you're still paying yep. just four dollars for the box. This box already has tape. Yeah, but you have to buy the box. You have to buy the box. Yes, you don't buy the box, you buy the tape, which is cheaper. So that's what I'm saying. You're still cheaper going this way than mm. buying the box. Okay, okay. Right, that's right. Make sure you uh, write the address on before you put the tape on. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's kind of hot. There are pens on that end counter right over there. You have to bring the box over um, there that yep. are attached to the counter. Over here, buddy. <clears throat> Where's the... <clears throat> Where's the... Where do you put the address? The... You write it in. Do you write it in? Yeah. They don't give you a, a sticker? You write it in. Oh, the next time they give me. Okay. Um. Guys, I don't see a poster seven in this post office here in Providence, uh, Main Street Post Office, the, one of the like headquarter post offices. Um, I don't see a poster seven. They did just remodel, so it's possible they haven't put it up yet. But um, just took a quick look around and right. see it. They don't have a poster seven up. That's because they're remodeling. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Is she helping you earlier? Yes. Yeah. Something? Yeah. Do I need to know anything about? It's just some shoes. Sneakers. Oh, okay. You need to pay for the tape? Yes. Thank you. Hello. Can you donate it to the next person that needs tape? Yeah. Um, yeah, I can just leave it right there. Thanks. Yeah, okay, thanks. This is what's going on here. So on the screen, it's going to pop up. Anything liquid or fragile, perishable hazards, something batteries, perfume. We will need it, but. I just put it up there. 
But it's a bigger box than our other okay, priority so box, medium flat rate box. Okay. But if it? you didn't use this box and you just use like a shoe box, that would be nine ninety. Okay. Yeah, it, did, it didn't fit in the shoe box, oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah. How much is that? Eleven seventy two. Oh, that's fine. Okay. And um, is that with the insurance to you, get 50 you need more? Yes. Okay. How much more insurance would you like? Um, it's worth $150. So adding that, we'll add another $3.55 for your total of $15.27. Okay. Um, I'm also going to need a um, money order. Do you need someone to sign? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll do it after that. Yeah. Okay. We'll put, uh, process this first right. and then we'll do the money order. What? Is, it, is everything okay then? Yes. I need a money order for $900. Anything liquid or fragile, perishable, hazardous, lithium batteries, perfume, or mercury. And is everything going to be cash? Yes. Even this? Yes. You're very nice. Thank you so much. Very professional. Thank you. You're welcome. It's going to be expected on Friday. I like the new... You like the new digs? Yes. That's good. Is that me tracking your signature? Definitely brighter. <laughs> yes. Much brighter. There you go. And this tree envelope. You have a good one now. All right. You, you too. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Have a good you too. one. Thanks. Well, guys. That was pretty amazing. Yeah, I think the Providence Main Street Post Office got a pass. Um, I don't know if you want to take a quick walk down here. They got no poster seven. Are those fees expensive, guys? You let us know. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, Providence Main Street passes. Uh, the post post employees members here they performed really well. Uh, I don't think they did pretty good. You know. Please subscribe to Auditing America. And of course, the Allen Report. And as right next to the post office is a dispensary, so it's about to be Bob Marley time. And uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. And they get a pass here, very professional. They all conducted business well, gave us all the information we needed. Uh, so thank you for subscribing, thank you for tuning in, and stay tuned for more episodes. Yeah.